Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Triple Trouble, and oh boy, we got a boss fight, so time to take on Fang once again. This time he's got the uh, drill on his uh, Marvelous Queen, so this one's not so bad, just watch out for when he dies into the ground and not land on him like that, because again, Knuckles does not jump as high, unfortunately, so he can be a little bit harder to hit. But avoiding that missile is significantly easier, because uh, Knuckles does have his glide, so... There's that, at least it's kind of a trade-off. Yeah, I think uh, a couple more hits I'll do it. One more and then we can bury him like Triple H. Alright. Come on, get down here. There we go, man. Bury him! Yeah, bury him alive. Like a buried alive match, only not as epic. Alright. So, I got through Act 1 and now we move on to... But, oh yeah, I forgot. He pops out first. Okay, now we move on to Metal Jungra, what, whatever it's pronounced. Act 2. And I got one of those uh, bunny bots, which seems a little out of place in the jungle, if you ask me. But, yeah, that's just me. Like, this is a jungle, not a forest, but then again, what do I know? And again, really don't like Knuckles in his short jump, I gotta admit that. The gliding wild wall climbing are cool, but that short jump, like, just the fact that I have to climb some certain areas just to, you know, get to where I gotta get to, kind of annoying, and I don't like that. I much prefer Sonic and Tails, but they're much better jumps, but that's just me. Yeah, anyways, let us continue on. Ooh, we got a fire shield, that's nice. There's Fang again. Why does Knuckles do anything? I don't know. But yeah. Floor breaks out, and now we continue Act 2 down here with new music and everything, so kind of cool. And also this mud, which, yeah. Never really understood the mud in, in these acts, but whatever the case. Again, see what I mean? I gotta climb the wall there just so I can get up there. If I was Sonic or Tails, I'd be able to just jump up, but no. Not as Knuckles. That's lame, but whatever. It is what it is, anyways. Hello, snake bots. That's very friendly for some reason. I don't know why. How did that count as a hit? I'm pretty sure I hit the side of the spike. Seriously. What the heck? Yeah, whatever the case. Now I got all for a high score anyways. Who really cares about high scores anymore, let's be honest. It's more about beating the game nowadays than getting a high score. For most people, at least. I'm sure there's still someone out there that's like, yeah, I gotta get the high score. Heck yeah. High score is the most important thing ever. And hey, if you think that, more power to you, I guess. But me, I really couldn't care less. Heck, you only get technical. People are more interested in speedrunning than they are high scores and whatnot, so... Yeah, I just... I find that interesting. You know, there's video games done really fast, but there's no high score runs or anything like that. I just think that's kind of interesting. I don't know why, I just now thought of it. And I thought I'd bring it up, because I thought maybe you, th you would think it was interesting. Or maybe not. I don't know. But if you don't think it's interesting, I'm sorry. A little hard to think of things to come up with uh, when you already played through this game once, technically, though. Hey, what, what do you want me to say? Douglas doesn't have a huge amount of changes compared to the Sonic and Tails run, so... Unfortunately, not a lot of extra to say. Here. Go down that, go around this loop to loop. And, uh, yeah. Jump up there and end up uh, over here. That's cool. Got one of those uh, cool snake things. I like those guys. They're cool. They don't attack you, so I like that. Kind of weird seeing uh, some uh, bad necks are nice and all, but uh, hey, some, some of them just don't care, I guess. That's cool. Kinda of remind me of the shield enemies from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where uh, they just kind of walk around and do their own thing. They don't actually attack you or anything. So yeah, I just I just like that. Enemies like that once in a while are kind of nice in a game. What can I say? I mean, after all, not enemy in the game should be out to kill you. After all, right? All right. That spike ball, there we go. Get on up here. Big 
bounce. There we go. Take that caterpillar out. I'm just gonna assume it's called. It's probably called something else, but I don't know. It looks like a caterpillar from Sonic 1, so I'm gonna call it caterpillar. Sorry if that's wrong. And on to the uh, warm boss again after a pause, real quick. Sorry about that, guys. So professional, I know. Alright. And this boss is significantly more annoying with Knuckles, because again, he can't jump as high. So, in normal spots where I could get hits, no, not so much. I gotta wait for him to come down and wait for him to swing his head down all the way. And that spike ball is still there, bouncing around and making things difficult for you, so... Fun! Not. Oh my goodness. Alright, get back out here. Let's get this over with. There we go. He's got one or two more in him. Maybe three, I don't know. I'll get down here. Yep, he's got at least, at least one more. Maybe two. I haven't keeping track. I'm pretty sure with bosses like this, it's eight hits, though. Like the, uh, multiple gems of the game. And there we go. Got him. Alright, cool. And we still have this segment where you gotta run away and avoid all these obstacles. This part I'm okay with. This is pretty cool. Even though I'm playing as Knuckles, at least the platforms are low enough that I don't have to climb the wall in order to get up to them. So it's just, it's just some case of whatever I can deal with it. Yeah, I'm on Snake. Thank you. Ball. And uh oh. Almost got hit by that, but thankfully not. And run very fast away from this boulder. Seriously, if you if you don't stop, then I imagine you're never gonna get struck by that, seriously. And considering we are, you know, Sonic characters, I I see no reason why you couldn't be able to get away from that easily. Anyways. That's the jungle level. And Little Hilton Spring takes us into the water. I don't know why Knuckles or Song and Tails in the Song and Tails playthrough felt the need to just jump off the spring and into the water like that, but whatever. Whatever the case, grab onto the side of the Zeppelin and let's get on to the Egg Zeppelin. Right, here we go. Yeah, I find it weird that's uh. Technically speaking, in this game, his name is supposed to be Robotnik, not uh, Eggman, yet they still call it the Egg Zeppelin. I just find that interesting. So if you want to get technical, even in the American version, his name is still technically uh, Dr. Ivo Robotnik, but he just chooses to go by Dr. Eggman now. And uh, I do know a lot of Sonic fans like to give a continuity reason for it. Like uh, in Sonic Adventure 1, which I'll have to LP someday, great game. But anyways, in Sonic Adventure 1, they actually used the Eggman name as like a insult towards him. But then in Sonic Adventure 2, he start, just starts to call himself Dr. Eggman, and everybody just stuck with it. So, what a lot of people like to say is that maybe Eggman just kind of adapted the name and like, grew to like it or whatever, so now he just calls himself Dr. Eggman, despite the fact that his name is still Dr. Robotnik, technically. So, just a little Sonic trivia for you, but we all know the real reason why. It's because they're getting tired of, uh, translating everything. Well, may not translating everything, but more specifically, his name is Dr. Eggman in Japan, it always has been. So, yeah, they just decided, alright, you know what, this is getting old. It's just going to confuse the audience more, the more we do it, so just call him Dr. Eggman and be done with it. I really like how in the Sonic movies, uh, they actually incorporate the Dr. Eggman name, too. Like, his name is Dr. Robotnik in the movie, but Sonic still calls him Dr. Eggman based on the robots he had in Sonic 1, or the Sonic 1 movie, so that was kind of cool. Thought that was a cool little callback. And gosh darn, his name was always, always be Dr. Robotnik to me, gosh darn. Like, seriously, I'm just gonna say it like it is. Dr. Eggman sounds kind of silly and memeish, if you ask me. Robotnik actually sounds menacing and cool. So, yeah, that's, that's why I first, personally always prefer to him as Dr. Robotnik. Not just because I grew up with it, but more so because I just like the sound of it better. And I'm not talking about the level at all, am I? Here I am talking about Dr. Robotnik's name and all, but, uh, hey, I need something to talk about considering I already played this level, right? Right. Anyways, got those bombs again, and time to enter the bonus stage again. But I'm not going to be cutting ahead this time because something crazy is going to happen. You, you guys aren't going to believe this, okay? But just stick with me. Alright, so I got a lightning shield. Cool. That's pretty cool. I, 
I don't know why I'm showing that off, though. You guys don't need to see me getting a lightning shield, right? I've got lightning shields playing for these, right? I've got an extra life, that's cool. We'll get some more rings, nice. A couple more lightning shields. I, I can only carry one, though, but still cool, still cool. And it's not like I'm gonna make it to the end or anything, though, because I never have before, ever. Even playing on my own, I, I almost never get to the end. There's no way this is gonna happen this time, right? Ooh, got one up, nice. See, you can get one ups in here, that's pretty cool, right? And then you got these bumpers that only give you three shots, which is kind of annoying, but guess what? I made it to the end, yes! First time it happened in the LP, and the only time I won't bother showing it off, because, yeah, that, that bonus stage is really difficult, but I want to show me off, you know, doing it just once, so you guys can see, yes, it does have an ending, and yes, you can beat it. I'm just not usually that good at it. There, oh, crap, I missed the jump. No! Well, time to take a slow, slow descent to the bottom. I could just let go of the button and fall right away, but no. I must make it a slow descent to the end of the screen. Let's try that again. Okay. This time, 0% failure. Alright, there we go. Laying on that platform, thank goodness. Alright. Go up here. Checkpoint and destroy the engine. Once again. There we go. Uh oh, 40 seconds to get off of here. Let's go. But again, we're a Sonic character, so is this really that concerning? No, it is not. No, it is not. Not in the slightest. There, jump on that spring. I wonder if I can get through here faster than my Sonic and Tails playthrough. That'd be cool. No, I actually matter if I don't get a ward or anything. If I do, it'd just be kind of cool. Yeah, roughly the same time. Roughly the same time, so... Yeah, that's what it is. And mash the jump button to get out of the snow. Now we're in Robotnik Winter. And there's the crash for you. Just in case you wanted to see it, I doubt anybody really cared, but I just wanted to show it off just because. Yeah, again, I gotta say, kinda weird how we got Robotnik Winter and the Egg Zeppelin. Got yeah, a reference to the Eggman name and a reference to the Robotnik name in the same game. I just find that kind of interesting. I'm not complaining. I like, I like the name Robotnik Winter. That sounds kind of cool. Despite the fact that it really has not a lot to do with Robotnik, but whatever. It works. It works. All right. Let us continue on here. I just love those penguins at the top hats, by the way. I think they're adorable. Yeah, I know this one's take, kicking my butt, but I don't care. It's adorable! At least I'm getting beat up by a cute, adorable robot, right? That's something. That probably sounded weird, but you know what I mean. Okay, anyways. Alright, spin dash through those. Man, they are really hitting me hard with those hats, aren't they? Thankfully, we got a seal here. Take us right up here. Breakthrough. Cool. Oh, you see what I mean? Again, gotta freaking climb the wall just to make it up there. Why? Why? Why, why? why can't you just jump higher, Knuckles, or lower the platform a bit? Something. I know it's not that big of a deal, but it really does interrupt the flow sometimes. It's just like, ugh. Another reason I don't really fly, like playing as Knuckles, personally. Just me, personally. Oh my god. Why did I run it out three times? Seriously, that was four times! Wow, I'm, I'm just intending to look bad now, aren't I? At least I hope that was the point. Alright, anyways. Continue on. Not getting me again, you piece of junk. No way. Got like an Orbanaut there, that's cool. I doubt it's actually called Orbanaut, but who, who knows. And Giant Snowball! Cool. Again, not a lot to talk about because we've seen this all before. I'm, I'm trying my best to think of stuff to talk about here, guys, but bear with me. This is, you know, it's difficult when you've already played the level. No way to break through those. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. We need the giant snowball. 
There's a snowball, let's use that. I don't know how a snowball breaks through rocks, considering uh, snow is not technically that tough, just, just saying. But whatever the case, it's, it's a game, I'm not going to question the logic too much. You would think, though, with Knuckles' uh, amazing abilities with his fists, he'd probably be able to break through that, but nope, need a giant snowball. I don't know why. Oh boy, don't let go by those spikes for obvious reasons. You will fall and that will be no good. I uh, can't destroy those machines, by the way. Just thought I'd point that out. I'm pretty sure you can't, at least. I, I think I tried once and, you know, just kept failing, so I just moved on eventually. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume you can't kill them. Alright, anyways. Whoa, 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 no, don't, don't go back down there. Oh man, I want that shield. Come on. Let me back up there. I want that shield. I am greedy like that. Give me that shield. Let's see if I can't do it the right way this time. There we go. Not sure why I couldn't get that to work before. Really get, oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Let's climb on up here. I don't feel like platforming this time. Use this spring. Or not. I can just do it with a regular spin dash. That works. And I'm going to take a break in the bonus stage, and I'll see you all in the next part. Later.